Okay, you guys, how are you all doing? In today's video, we are talking about security because I think security is very important and I think quite a few people agree with me. Security can be extremely expensive, but I feel like security and I'm gonna say security a lot, is something that everybody should have access to. Because I think we all need the means to protect ourselves when somebody is breaking into the house or somebody is violating our space. So therefore today I will be showing you what I think is the best camera under 50 euro that you can get yourself right now. In fact, I only paid 20 euro for it that has the best features, a really nice mobile application. And later on, we're gonna mod it to have OnViv and all the other incredible capabilities that you might want to say connected to the NAS or connected to your currently running NVR. And that's how you make the price just triple. So let's get right into the video. Okay, me getting this right now is going to be dangerous. <sighs> okay. This is my Xiaomi Yi Cam. This little thing is absolutely unbelievable. I got this for the price of 20 euro on Amazon. So that's how you know it's good quality because Amazon only sells you the real deal and not the fake stuff. And this thing has been running for what I believe is about two years now and it's still absolutely great. Now, this thing runs at 1080p and has a great mobile application. And I'll show you the mobile application in a second. It has IR vision, which means it can see in the dark and it does a pretty damn good job of it. It sends you notifications when it sees motion and it has a micro SD card slot for when you want to record your footage onto a micro SD card and then you're able to watch it in the app or on the computer software. Yes, it actually has computer software. Now I've modded this little guy, which we will talk about in a second. But just before we do that, let me just show you a few features of the camera itself, the physical features. So this is what it looks like. It's a tiny little thing. It's been standing on top of my NAS for the two years that I've had it. You can tilt it up and down like this to allow for, well, rotation really. And then it actually comes out of its little pocket here, which means you can 3D print or buy 3D printed mounts or just normal mounts for it, meaning you can either, let's say, hang it up on top of your ceiling like this, or you can mount it on the wall if you really want to. Of course, you could just use double-sided tape, but some people feel more comfortable if they actually have a mount for it. But yes, it becomes even smaller if you just take it out like this. It is powered by a micro USB cable and it comes with like the longest micro USB cable I have ever seen. It reaches from the floor all the way up to my ceiling, which is absolutely unbelievable, but it is exactly the length I needed. So I'm very happy that they gave such a long cable. So that's the camera itself. Let's move on to the mobile app because I think the mobile app is actually one of the best selling features of this thing because every camera can have features like 1080p, every camera can have features like IR vision, but what's the point if you can't access them properly? I'm gonna show you the mobile app on my Android right here, which is also a Xiaomi. I am quite a big fan of Xiaomi things. So as you can see here, this is the mobile app. I just click on the camera, it's straight up won't connect to it right now because the camera is disconnected, but the camera has a little timeline that you can scroll down at the bottom of the screen. You can zoom in on the timeline to get a more precise location of what you're looking at. On the timeline is also orange bars that indicate motion of when motion happened on the timeline because the camera does only record motion. I think there is a setting for 24 recording, but that will take a lot more storage and the footage does start getting deleted after the micro SD card is full. So it does overwrite the old footage, which I learned the hard way. There's also a motion library and notification library that will show you all the notifications that have come in. When you click on them, they will show you a little short clip of the notification that came in. It actually has voice pass through, which is really cool. Meaning this thing actually has a microphone that will record audio from testing, wherever testing. you're putting it. Not only that, but it actually has voice pass through in the way that you can pass speak through. through your phone and this thing has a speaker. So your voice will come out through the phone. So if you want to scare the intruder, here you go. So kind of like a really nice, really good camera for super cheap because these features are absolutely insane. Now that we've taken a look at the mobile app and you see that the mobile app is really nicely made and the camera itself, I believe I would have also showed you some sample footage uh, while editing. I think that's only fair. So editor, can you do that please? Now let's move on to actually modding this camera because I like OnViv capabilities. I like having this thing connected to my NAS. So let's give it OnViv capabilities and also let's give it a web UI because why not? Some people might want to watch the live footage in VLC or another media player 
So let's do that. Okay, so as you guys can see, we are here on the eHack page, and this is the eHack for MSTAR because I have the 6F US model of this camera. It is the newer model. You can actually check which model your camera is just at the back right here. So mine here at the back says 6F US, so that's what we're going by. So what you want to do is you want to enter either the crypto, uh, which is for the HI3518E chipset, or if your camera is based on MSTAR, that's the one you need. So we are going to scroll down here. We are going to select, as you can see, the supported cameras, 6FUS is on the list. So now we just need to find the releases. Here it is. 25 days ago. That's pretty new if you ask me. So scrolling down here, we see that 6FUS is a Y203C. So going back to this page, we are going to get Y203C. So we're going to download that right there. So then you just want to remove the micro SD card from your camera. So that's what I'm going to do. Do, do, do. Put it into a micro SD card reader. So just for the process of flashing this, I'm going to grab a four gigabyte micro SD card because you don't need anything larger. And I don't want to be uh, messing around with the footage that is already on the SD card as is. So now that I have a micro SD card of four gigabytes, I'm going to plug it into my PC. So we have it here right now. And as you can see, the SD card is just called update. Just call it update, just call it whatever. It looks like I've used this SD card for the exact same process before. So all you want to do is you want to open those files in WinRAR. You want to grab your two files, move them to the SD card right here. And just like that, the files are now on the SD card. So let's remove the SD card, plug it back into our camera right here, just like that. Now let's plug in a micro USB cable to give it power. And just like that, the camera should install the custom firmware. So as you can see, the orange light here is blinking. So this orange light will flash for roughly 30 seconds. This means the firmware is being successfully flashed. Then the camera will successfully boot up. And then the yellow light will come back on again for the final stage of flashing. This will take about two minutes. And then the blue light, once the blue light is on, that officially means that the camera is connected to Wi-Fi and successful. So as you can see here, that light is currently flashing. So I will leave it to flash and I will be right back to you guys once that is flashed. I just heard it restart. Okay, the camera is now on and I can confirm that by going into the app, clicking on the camera, it'll say connecting. And boom, here we are. Currently it's actually upside down, but as you can see, here we have the camera and I'm going to show you the voice pass through right now. So as you can see, I'm going to turn on my phone and the voice pass through works. It's actually pretty good. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Who, who wants, who to, wants uh, to uh, play a little bit of pass through? Yeah, it's pretty good. I think that's, I think that's, I think that's, that's quality is actually pretty decent. decent. Like, like, if you had a louder mic, you could actually stare someone away with it, you know? So there you go. So there you go. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Pass through on both ends, but that is not what we came here for. We came here for the camera custom firmware. So now what you want to do is you want to go into the app. You want to scroll down to info and see the IP address there. You want to grab that, put that into your computer. So mine is 192.168.2.76. Then you want to do a colon and 8080. Press enter. Boom. You are now on the website of the configuration of the camera, just like that. You can even get a high res snapshot. So here you go, this uh, high resolution snapshot right now that we have on screen. So that's there. You can get a low resolution snapshot, just like that. You have all the information about the camera. You can go into configurations. You can turn everything on, everything off. You can disable the app even, which I'm not going to do because I like the app. You have OnVIF enabled and the OnVIF profile is set to high. You have an OnVIF watermark, you have FTP, you have Telnet, you have all these incredible features. Uh, I would recommend turning on authentication, by the way, that is down there at the bottom. You can enable slash disable baby crying detect. That's pretty creepy, not going to lie. And then you have the detection sensitivity that you can play around with. You can rotate the image, as you can see here. You have the motion events that will show up here. So if you click on them, I believe they will get downloaded. So let's download one right now. There you go. Just like that. The video is downloaded straight off the camera through the web UI. Just like that. You can even get a high res, high res snapshot. So here you go. This uh, high resolution snapshot right now that we have. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, what else could you possibly want 
from this. You have maintenance here, you have snapshot, you can even connect to this using VLC. So there you go, we have successfully modded the eHome 1080p to have OnViv capabilities to work straight off the web UI. And I have shown you an incredible little camera that you can get on Amazon right now for about 25 euro that has night vision, that has a micro SD card slot for continuous recording, has motion detection, has an incredible little app, and that now you can give OnViv capabilities. I really hope this video helped you out, guys. I hope you found a nice little camera that you might want to get for yourself. The links for it are down in the description below. If you guys want to help out the channel a little bit, want to use the affiliate links, check it out down below. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but let me know why down in the comment section below. If you guys want to see future videos like these, I upload tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if you guys are not yet part of the community, make sure to follow me on my social media here and here. Join us on Discord where we have a nice growing community and everybody is super kind there. We talk about literally anything join us on reddit where i want to see my face getting memed to hell links down in the description below so if you guys want to be notified of future content make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead ding my bell and see you again in the next one peace